Are you ready to be amazed? In this episode of Physics TV, I'm going to measure the speed of light using a popper dog and a microwave oven. To explain what the microwaves are doing inside the oven, I'm going to hand you over to Daniel and Jack in the science lab. Look at the string. The waves travelling along the string are behaving in the same way as some microwaves inside the oven. The places where there is a lot of energy, and here are the places where there is very little energy. These places are where the poppadon will cook first, and these hot spots are half a wavelength apart. Measure the distance between them. Right, so the wavelength is about 30 centimetres. So we double it to get the full wavelength, which is 60 centimetres, or 0.6 metres. Yes. OK, so we now know everything we need to calculate the speed of the waves travelling along the string. We can use the formula, wave speed equals frequency times wavelength, where the frequency is the number of times the string was vibrating each second, and the wavelength was measured by our two scientists. So, the frequency was 62 hertz, which is 62 vibrations every second, times 0.6 meters for the wavelength. So that turned out to be 37.2 meters per second. So the waves were traveling along the string at 37.2 meters per second. So, to measure the speed of the wave, two things. I need to know its frequency and its wavelength. For the microwaves in the oven, I know the frequency because I've looked at the user manual and the frequency it quotes there is 2450 megahertz which is 2450 million hertz. To find the wavelength, this is where I need my popper dog. And the first thing I've done is I've taken the turntable out so the popper dog won't move. I'm just going to pop my popper dog in there and I'm going to turn it on until it just starts to cook. Here's the pop -dum, and here are the two spots that are half a wavelength apart and if I measure those they are about six centimetres apart. I can now calculate the speed of the microwaves inside the oven. I know the frequency and I know the wavelength so I can use the formula to calculate the speed. So the frequency was 2450 million hertz times the wavelength which was 0.12 meters and that turns out to be about 300 million meters per second. Okay, so the microwaves inside the oven were travelling backwards and forwards at 300 million metres per second. I can see you thinking, he said he was going to calculate the speed of light, and he's only worked out the speed of microwaves. Well, light and microwaves are both parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. So since they are both electromagnetic waves, it means that they travel at the same speed. So I have used my microwave and my poppadon to calculate the speed of light, 300 million meters per second.